Okay. Uh, today I will try to explain a uh, line 2D charts in ASP.NET uh, how to use InfoSoft Global Library with using uh, the uh, with using uh, InfoSoft how to use InfoSoft Library in ASP.NET. So before the starting of line 2D chart sample, uh, I'm just go to the SQL Server and just create one table cells master and some column are there and just put some value are there and the output was uh, suppose I'm selecting table select star from sales master just output was same sales id months january in the amount uh, the january sales amount february sales amount till, till december to end amount right so this is my table and I need to uh, create a line 2d chart for the ta this table so whenever required to create a line 2d chart then you need to use some library before the starting of a project uh, just right click i have already created empty project just create one new folder inside this project and just pass the name fusion chart and inside the fusion charts i need to copy paste a, a line 2d as a pure file so just copy and just paste inside the line 2d as a pure file okay and you need to use a infos global library just right click on the project just click on edit reference option and uh, just go to the desktop and just select the uh, info of global assembly because I have only in desktop info of global. Okay, so after that, just create a new uh, page. Click on add new item, just fill up the folder is fix page and just click on add option. Inside the is fix page, uh, you just create one server side control literal. right click and just go to the group code option uh, you need to store away configuration file a database connection string just open the connection strings uh, suppose you don't know how to use uh, like this then you just refer my previous video all of this you already created how to create database connectivity with visual studio so okay uh, just put connection string inside this just go to the server explorer and just uh, my PC was slow actually. Okay, right click on the data connection, just click on data connection option and uh, just select the SQL Server database for the connectivity of SQL Server. So, change option and just go to the Microsoft SQL Server, just click on open option and uh, just put the database server and click on and select the database to my database view in sample DB. So, just go to connection and just, so just click on open option. Now just right click on the data, just go to the property and just copy the connection string inside the property and just paste it like this. Okay, now uh, just pass a name, my name was DB connection, so I just put inside this. Just DB connection and uh, just put a provider name. For the one global variable as generate XML and one other variable was connections and inside the connection I am storing the connection path uh, which is cached with with configuration file. So when you require to cache connection path in the with configuration files, then you need to put a one code system dot configuration to configuration manager dot connection strings and just put double connection strings dot connection strings. Okay. So inside this I am just copy uh, paste my all code. This is the for the SQL connectivity SQL connection just open the con object new SQL connection and just pass the connection string which I have already declared on the top and uh, just paste inside this and control Z uh, my way inside the way configuration is checked out my name was DB connection so SQL connectivity is DB connection 
extension in this case we can okay no mistake uh, for the split adapter new split adapter this is my query select from as, as much of which is i have already explained in front uh, after that uh, with connection so open data set object this create data set object for the storing the data inside the ds open the gateway of the SQL server and just fill the data inside the ds and just close the connection after they just check out this is not null and ds the row count is greater than zero then uh, just start to create a xml file generate xml file because the uh, whenever required to use a fusions library and just uh, with using a fusions library then you need to create one xml file and just pass to sw file right so this is the basic steps for the creating uh, line 2d charts so now i'm starting chart captions monthly size summary uh, this is my caption title and sub sub caption for the year of 2013 in the x axis i need to put a month and in the y axis i need to amounts and the y axis minimum will really starting from the 1000 and number of prefix means my amount was in dollars right okay uh, after that i just show you starting from the zero alternate grid background this is the animation part this is the designing view how to view uh, your graphs alternating as grid alpha div line color div alpha canvas border color base font color and line color okay after that uh, just using for each row and i need to put all row inside the my xml file so i'm starting data row dr and dl table zero dot rows as generate xml set label for the months and grid view was amount okay just close chart literal one dot text fusion charts render dot html just pass a line dot sw file which is a fusion charts folder and string url was null because i did not require any redirect options and just pass the generate xml file and uh, monthly sales report this is my caption and just put width and height 1000 was width and height was changed and the one was put right now save this program and just check out what is exactly output is there uh, just right click on the fusion table part of fusion just click on the caption Just click on the option. It was very slow. And when we For the sample code, suppose you require to need a sample code, then just go to the my site, uh, googlecode.com. I have already put it in each dot and directory fusion charts. So it's available code inside this. So when you require to download code, then just go to the east to the Noshad sites and in the fusion chart. This code is there actually. Mm, my PC was slow actually. Some is there. Okay, so this is a line to the charts. Just check out in the January months, 25,000k, 25,000 dollar was uh, my sales. In the February months, 45,000. In the March was 15,000. In the 85,000. Into till December was 580,000. Uh, 50, 50, so 580,000 like sales. So this is a basic sample example of the how to create a line to the chart in HTML.net. And it was very useful actually. Uh, thank you very much for this. Uh, watching this video and do not forget to subscribe my channel and like this video.